What up guys, I am super excited about today's workout because first of all, number one, I've been strict with my diet and in two weeks, I've lost three pounds so far with no loss in strength. In fact, today I did really well on the squats. So I was prescribed by myself to do 395, three sets of three. But because of how my low bar squats moved with these flats, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go for 405 and see what happens. 405 is my make it or break it threshold. Sometimes when I hit it and it's really bad, I'm like, fuck, today's squat day is gonna be horrible. But there's times that I move it really well and I'm like, awesome. Like if I wanted to hit a PR or go for a max today, today would be the day. And I probably could have gone for a max and probably would have done very well today because I was able to do all three sets of three at about an RPE eight. I realized I am in my most powerful squat position when there are no heels, when it's in flats, because I can really put my back and my glutes into it, which is my strongest muscle groups. So after I did the 405 three sets of three, I decided to drop it to 315 and do three reps of pause squats there. And I was pausing for like two to three seconds and mainly it's just get a feel of this new bottom position that I'm in because without the heel, I'm able to support the weight a little bit more on my lower back. So I wanna get used to that. I'm super happy with the way my squats are right now. And you guys know, squats are my fucking weak point. I fucking hate squats, I suck at it, which is why I try to work really hard to make it my strength. And anytime I start losing weight, my squats usually go right out the window. But I felt like I probably could have muscled out a five by five with 405 today, so I felt really good. And I definitely feel better, I feel lighter, and I can already see my waist trimming down. And I can see my face getting a little bit leaner, so I'm super happy. Then we moved on to the below knee deadlifts. And once again, I'm really trying to strengthen my back here. I went up to 405 and I did it for 10 pretty easily. However, I was really focusing on just the concentric movement, just blasting it up. And on the way down, I was just kind of just dropping and not really worrying about the eccentric. And I just kind of wanted to gain that confidence of, yo, I can rep 405 for reps and then I'm gonna slowly add more weight there. So on the last set, instead of doing 405 again, I bumped it back down to 315. So I can really focus on the tempo of the eccentric movement and feel my hamstrings really burn, my glutes burn and my lower back burn. So I think it's really important to train your weaknesses, but it's also even more important to train your strengths because that's what carried you so far anyways. After that, we moved on to close grip bench. 225 was flying, felt really easy. I put on 275 and I was able to get 10 reps at about an RPE 10. So that's pretty much an absolute max. But my bench confidence is going up too. Usually for me, I know that if my close grip bench is getting stronger, so will my competition bench. That's just a really good indicator for myself. I know everyone else has different indicators. So I think it's really important for you guys to also understand which accessory is your number one accessory to get that specific lift stronger and you can use that accessory to gauge if that lift is getting stronger without frying your cns and actually doing it after that we actually moved on to do some dumbbell rolls and then i think some people call it lawnmowers which is kind of racist but i guess that's how you like so I guess I did lawnmowers. And when I'm doing kind of like the cheat croc type rows, the cheat rows, the cheat lawnmowers, I can feel a contraction from my lats all the way to my rhomboids and even the upper back region. And I did that for three sets of 10. I did the 90s, then the 120s, and the 120s all for 10. And then for the last one, going with the theme of just really contracting and pausing weights and really dropping the weight just so I could really feel the weight. And I dropped it all the way down to 60, and this is the huge difference that I felt. When I pulled it and paused it and then brought it back down, I didn't feel any activation in my rhomboids or upper back, but my lats felt like they wanted to sprout wings and fucking grow into an angel and become a Victoria's Secret model. So that's crazy. So now I know that in the same exercise, if I just drop weight and change the way that I do it, it's almost like doing two exercises at once. So I'm really happy about that. Finally, we did behind the neck pull downs. And my tip for this is when you're doing these, sit as close to the machine as possible because that allows you to bring your hands further behind your neck and get a really good contraction. And for those of you guys that are low bar squatting for the first time, you know, there's always this cue, you gotta bend the bar over your back. And for high bar squatters, just holding it there and you don't really know what that means when you go down here. Practice doing these as an accessory on squat days and you'll really get that feeling. Because when I was pulling this, I was like, 
oh shit, this is the same exact feeling that I get when I'm trying to bend the bar over my back to stay tight when I'm in a low bar position. So I did these, and then my last one, I dropped it by 50% just so I could pause it and get that crazy contraction that I'm looking for. But I'm really happy because three pounds, two weeks, strength still going up, cannot complain, and I am on track. I read the motherfucking comments, motherfucker. You guys like, Bart never makes up his mind. Well, he wanted to do this, and then now he's doing that. Dude, I'm inspired by my homie, Silent Mike. He pulls 705. You're telling me that if you have a plan and then you get ultra inspired, you're gonna stick to that plan? That's fucking stupid. If you're like, yo, you know what? I think I'm gonna go watch a movie tonight. And then you see your homie, like just get into medical school and that inspires you, fuck, maybe I should study. Nah, I'm gonna keep watching a movie. That's dumb. You know, like that's what I feel like. When, when there's great people around me and they inspire me, I'm like, dude, you fucking motherfucker, that's tight. Now that inspired, like 600 was my lifetime goal. I think 650 is my lifetime goal now. So be inspired, motherfuckers. Peace. Oh, and everyone orders a salad and you're like, you guys don't order salads? Like we're at a burger joint. Yeah. Like just eat whatever you want to yeah. eat. Yeah, or you order a salad and they'll be like, oh, there's Charlie again with his kale salad. Yeah. <laughs> or, or even if you pick- Your friends or, or tell even you if that you need new friends. Bad.